Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft 365 Central and today I'm going to show you some of the best tips and tricks on Microsoft Teams that will make your life a lot easier. So let's start. The first one and this command, I this is my personal favorite and I find this command very useful because it, it gets you a lot of analysis and it gives you direct information that you could have um, could have had to search for. So right here, when you are in your desktop application or let's say on your web application on Microsoft Teams, on the top, you will see the search bar. So you can simply go there and type slash. So this will give you a different bunch of commands here after slash. Let's say we'll start with slash files. So what is this command doing here? So slash files, when you click enter it's going to give you a whole list right now i just have one file shared here so let's say you have shared a lot of documents with one of your colleague and you're trying to find that which are the documents you have recently shared so when you hit slash files this is going to give you a whole list of all the documents you have worked on or shared moving on to trying a new command let's try slash and Let's say I have a lot of teams. Right now you will be able to see I have just six or seven teams in my environment. But let's say you have more than 50 teams and you have been cruising throughout those teams all day. So you can simply go slash and hit go to. And when you hit go to and space, it's gonna ask you if you remember a simple name about your team or any word, I'm gonna hit SMT so i just remember that okay there is a team named smt i'm not able to find it because i have 100 teams in my environment i can hit slash go to and search for the name and it's going to show me the team and when i click on it i'm right inside the team going back to my origin team here okay so the next command i have here is the pin command so the pin command does a lot when we talk about pin, you can pin different documents, you can pin different teams, and you can even pin different apps. So first, I'm going to start with uh, pinning a team. Let's say I have a team training for new hires team here. And within this team, there is announcement channel here, which I have to go there every day and I have to make new announcements. So what I can do is come here. When I see the three dots, I can simply click on these three dots. And where it says pin, I will click on pin and on the top, on the left hand side, on the top, you will see I have announcements, which is pinned right here. So now next time when I come here, I don't have to go, let's say I'm on a different team here. I don't have to go here and search for the announcement. It's going to stay here on the top. Once I'm done with the work and I don't know, I no longer need it. I can go back to these three dots and I can simply unpin it from here. Moving further, the same pin command, using it with different apps. So the left hand side navigation bar we see here, it has chat, teams, calendar, calls. Same way, these three dots, this is about more functions. So when you click on more, you'll see a bunch of different applications here. So for example, I need PowerPoint most of the time during my day. What I can do is I can right click on that app and I can simply click on pin. So you'll be able to see on my navigation bar on the left hand side, I see PowerPoint right here. So that is going to be a very useful command or a very useful option when you're working on different apps and every time you have to go in here and find your app. So the next is going to be our loop components. So any of you who is not aware of the loop components, it's going to be in your chat. If I go in my chat and you'll be able to see, I have a chat here with my one of my colleague. So down at the bottom, you'll see a circle or kind of O, which says loop components. So when you click on this loop components, you'll see a lot of different options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task list because I have 
different tasks in common assigned to both of us. So what I'm going to do is rather than making those small calls or every time chatting about those tasks, I'm just going to simply create a task list. So when I click on the task list, I'm going to create the task. It's going to say train new employee and I'm going to assign it to you can simply type at and you'll be able to see the users. I'm going to assign it to my colleague here and you can select what date it's due. So you can go here and let's say it's due by Friday. Same way I can add assign, assign another task and the next task will be sprint to meeting agenda. And again, I'm going to assign that to myself, let's say. And the date for this one is going to be Thursday. And same way, I can add more tasks here if I want to, and then simply I can send it from here. So within the chat, this will be live. And once I'm done with my task, I can simply click here and I can mark my task as completed. Same way, my colleague can come here and he can task, he can complete his task. Same way, we can add more tasks here and this will save us a lot of time and a lot of those quick calls which, which, were, which might have been needed for completing these tasks. So this is a very useful feature. You will find it at the bottom which says loop components and you can create it from here. Moving on to the next trick here is I find this one very useful in the cases, let's say when I am here on any of the team, let's say I am on the stock apps team and I'm in files here. Oh, I don't have any files here, let's say. Um, I'm gonna try another team here. So I'm in my website development team and I'm gonna go on files and over here I can see website content. So when I click on this, what you're going to see here is this is opening the content within the teams. So it's going to open the whole document within the teams. Now, if I want to go back to chats, if I click on the chat, my document is already lost. And if I go back to teams, I'm going to have to come here and open the document again. So in that case, let's say you are working on a couple of different documents and you want to, you want to be able to open all your documents within your desktop application instead of opening it within the teams so what you can do is you can go here in settings click on those three dots and settings and then within this whole menu on the left hand side you will see files so when you click on files and it's going to say always open word powerpoint and excel files in it says teams so what i'm going to select here is i can go here and click browser so this is going to say, this is going to, whenever you open a file, it's going to search in my desktop that, okay, if I have a word file, then it's going to open in the desktop app right from there. I'll hit cancel from here and let's try it again. So this time when I click on this file, it's not going to open here in Teams. I'm going to click on it again and it's not going to open here in Teams. So it's going to open on my another screen that is where is my desktop application? So that's a really great way how you can work around. And at the same time, you can have different documents open and you will be able to work here as well as on the document at the same time. All right, so next one is you have a lot of colleagues that you usually chat with. So what you can do is if you want to be able to find them or when you're searching here, you want to see a couple of colleagues on the very top, no matter what. So in that case, what you can do is, let's say I have my colleague Divyesh here. I can click on these three dots and I can do add to favorite contacts. So if I add to favorite contacts, what it's going to do is now whenever I come here, it's going to show me this contact at the very top. So this is a very helpful when you're trying to search new teammates or if you have a lot of teammates that you deal with 
on a regular basis you can add them to your favorites right moving back to teams so the next one here is going to be again related to chats now i have heard a lot of a lot of users complaining about uh, trying to type a message let's say i'm trying to type a two line message hello team and right after hello team i want to try i want to go to the new line but for by mistake you have hit enter here so when you do that by mistake what you can do is hit the up arrow key two times so now you'll be able to see that the message which i already sent is back here and i can edit my message now i can go to the new line and i can type here cited for the training and then i can send it again so you'll be able to see my message which i initially sent was edited and now it's just the same message but it's edited so same way i'm going to show it again so let's say i'm going to type test and i hit enter by mistake so hit the up arrow key twice and you will have this message to edit again and you can simply type you can simply edit your message here and uh, you can say anything and you can send it back from here so this is a very useful feature when you are trying to send a message and by mistake you have uh, typed half of your message or maybe typed something wrong you can simply do it from here so moving ahead so next one is let's say you are talking to one of your teammates on chat and you are trying to send a message and you don't want to miss that deadline or you don't want to miss what you have asked to your teammate so what you can simply do is let's say i am trying to ask my colleague that prepare agenda for sprint meeting i have sent this but at the same time i don't want to lose a track of this one so what i can do is i have an i have an option that i can easily create this into a task right from the message so if i hover on the message right on these three dots i can click here and i'll have an option that i can create this as a task so when i click on create task it's going to pop up and it's going to ask me a couple different options here now this is this will be in task i can set the priority if it's important and i can set the due date as of today and i can go ahead and add a task so this will say task is created and i can drag the task from there so this is very helpful again when you are in a chat with someone so the next tip is going to be really helpful when you are in a chat with someone and you have had a very important discussion that you don't want to lose so what you can do is you can come here hover over any of the message click on these three dots and you can simply go and select share to outlook so when i do this it's going to pop up and it's going to bring my outlook where i can send the whole chat as an attachment or the whole chat directly in the message body directly to someone whom i want to send it so let's say i have the microsoft teams message here and i want to send it to mike one of my colleagues so i'm going to send it to mike and if i click send from here this is going to send a conversation to my colleague mike so this is going to be a very useful option here and last but not the least so some of you whoever is going out on a vacation or whoever is trying to set up an out of office message so i have seen everyone going on outlook and going on a couple different options to set up the out of message out of office message and send those automatic replies to anyone who's trying to reach you so now you can easily do that from microsoft teams itself so on the top right corner you can simply click on these three dots go to settings and within general if you scroll to the bottom you'll see out of office and you can simply click schedule from here and you can toggle on turn off 
turn on automatic replies and you can type in your message right here in the body and you have options that you want to send replies outside of your organization or within your organization and you can also hit what time you will be out of office so you can put that timeline here and as soon as you have done that you can click on save and that will save your save your schedule as you will be out of office and that will set up those automatic emails so there's no longer need to go to outlook and set those up you can do it right from your teams so that is all for today and please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you